taking this moment to speak the real, you know, speak facts of what people need to really understand. First and foremost, man, we ain't entertaining nothing negative. As far as blogs, if you're going to post about Nip, you need to post the positivity that he bring. You need to post about everything that he's accomplished, man. Anything other than that, there's not the time for that. As far as people trying to sell stuff from shirts to whatever the situation may be, y'all out of line. If y'all really ride for bro, you got love for bro, you got to hold the ones who he loved close. You know, you got to uplift people like Black Sam, J-Rock, B.H., Kabi, J-Stone, Pac-Man, Lauren, the kids, his mother, his father, his other homies, man. There's people really going through it. Y'all got to be compassionate and considerate, man. And for sure, to any of his family, man. I'm stepping up, y'all family, to me too. What's sad in La Familia? What y'all got going, family? We back in this one. What another crazy one, man. And y'all already know, before we get into it, we got to, you know, go ahead and do them things we always do, which is like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on the all. If you do not turn post notifications on the all, you will not be notified every time we drop a video. So I need y'all to go ahead and do that for me, family. But anyways, man, we got that man Trey the Truth. And we also got that man Zero. You know, two down south icons. Rap a lot icons. And former ABN, man, the former duo that produced hit songs, man, that still get plays to this day. And I know a lot of y'all remember the song Rain. Roll and Trey. At by nature, no doubt. Tell me, can you stand the rain? Come on, man. It's a classic. Everybody know that song, man. Probably both of their biggest song in their career, man. But even after doing all that, we all know they had their riff, man, where they ain't seeing eye to eye over certain situations, man. We're not going to get into that in this video. But the thing is, man, uh, Trey, honestly, this doesn't have much to do with him as much as it has to do with Zero. Because Trey's crew caught Zero out lacking. And like Zero always said, man, you know, he's one deep, man. He's, he's solo to his dolo. So uh, I guess they was out or whatever. And uh, Trey's crew caught him lacking. I'm going to show you all that video right now. Now, as y'all can see from that, man, the boys definitely got a little crazy, man. That was wrong that was on the ground. And the thing is, man, uh, reports came out that it was actually a rat pack. They actually jumped on him, you know, uh, did him with the Dulo, man. Dulo ganged him. Everybody hopped in on him and did him in, man. You know what I'm saying? Beat that man to the ground. And it's, it's sad, man, that these issues got this far between these two men, man, where it's on site to where they going to rack you. Even though y'all was formerly like brothers, man. Well, you never really know what goes on behind the scenes. You know, these dudes be having conflict with each other. But the label wants them to be together because they feel like they just make better music together. You know what I'm saying? So they want to keep those duos intact in front of the media's eye because that generates more revenue for that particular label. So, hey, it is what it is. It's business. But at the end of the day, man, it's like y'all couldn't get this man a fair shake. Y'all couldn't get this man a fair shake. But I do want to say this, man, for all of these rappers of this generation, check out what just happened yeah zero ended up on the ground but as far as like life altering injuries nobody suffered any life altering injuries in this situation all parties involved eventually got up walked away and did what they did you know what i'm saying went on about their life and now everybody's home safely today you know what i'm saying like that that's that's the thing about throwing the fisty cups 
Everybody gets to walk away safely. A lot of y'all don't get that, but I know y'all seen the laws just out there pretty much spectating and whatnot, you know, uh, not really doing much to help. They kind of seemed like they were scared of the situation as well. But just from the overall vibe, you could tell that Zero got racked out. Zero got racked out. And if y'all look at this little part of the clip again, uh, when Zero got up off the ground and tried to square up with the dude who was, you know, pretty much hitting him while he was on the ground. And y'all know I had to censor that. I had to cut that out for YouTube purposes. But if you look at the little part while he was on the ground, that other man to the side of him pretty much, you know, tried to square up with Ro as well. So you see that it was never a fair fight. That, that just shows you that Faye was never fair. They they racked that man from the gate. And then when Zero ran up on him, dude was telling the police as he was running back, like, y'all get him. If you faintly pay attention, you can hear it in the background. I'll play it for y'all again right now. Yeah, granted, the police was right there, man. But y'all was already getting down in front of the police, man. The police ran up on you to hold you because y'all created separation. You started to back up because you didn't want to fade that man one-on-one. -on -one. But y'all posted this video and made it look as though you faded him one-on-one. -on -one. You standing over him throwing two, you know, blows while this man laying on the ground balled up. But, hey, it's only rare occasions, man, where I done seen, you know, somebody that big. You know, the size difference. Of course, size is not everything, but it's only rare occasions where you see a man that big balled up to a man that's that much smaller than him. And, like, the fetal position, his man was curled up. The only time you really see that is when a man is getting racked out. You know, when a man tried to do his best to stay up, but it was just too much coming for him. So he had, when he hit the deck, he balled up to get away from, you know, the feet that was coming to his face. That's normally where you see that, you know what I'm saying? And the way that Rogue kind of was dizzy when he hopped up, that, that was a tall tale to you that, you know, that man was definitely buzzed and, and it took a lot, you know, uh, it, hey, a lot of people rang him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying skinny dude, you know, probably don't, you know, got no knockers on him. He probably do, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody that was around the situation is putting out reports that this was definitely a rat packing session. They rat packed that man, you know what I'm saying? So as far as like the attention that they garnering off of this man being on the ground, getting hit is... uh. I, I can't respect it. I can't respect the fact that y'all decided to get out there and get down instead of anybody pulling any slaps. You know what I'm saying? Like grown men, I don't expect anything else from, you know, these two older gentlemen and their camps, man. I don't, I don't expect nothing else, man. And it's crazy, man, because you got dudes nowadays who hitting 30 talking about, I'm getting too old to fight. Man, these men right here out here 50. You guys, 50, 60, 70 year olds still out here trying to scrap, man. You ain't never too old to fight. As long as your fists work, get out there and throw down, man. Get out there and throw down with a man. That way, you know, ain't nobody's mama's crying at the end of the day. Ain't nobody got to be taken away from their kids. Ain't nobody, you know, girl got to have, you know, a funeral for them. And she got to grieve over that. You know, as long as y'all get out there and scrap, all parties involved will be okay you know as long as nobody pulls out any weapons or anything afterwards and keeps it as what it is now in this situation i can't say that zero is in all rights you know being racked out and being you know crowded by so many different people all at once he he's in the fair you know grounds to defend himself with some type of weapon you know to even you know the great equalizer to even the playing grounds because right now the odds are uneven you know what i'm saying you know, it ain't much you can do whenever you whenever you going against eight, nine, you know, even like three. You know, sometimes three is a little bit too much. Sometimes two is a, is a little bit too much, depending on who they are, you know. But especially when it's five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you know, that that's a that's a that's a match you're not going to win. You know, you're going to lose nine times out of ten and end up with some injuries that may hospitalize you, you know, if they really monkeys like that. At the end of the day, he did the best thing that he could do to protect himself, which was to get on the ground in a ball 
and kind of, you know, get away from any harm's way, man. But even then, you know, little, little foots, man, little feet, they still get in, hit your ears, hit your temples, notch you up all in the back of your head. Your ribs is exposed, man. And if you never had a rib injury, man, that that is treacherous. You know what I'm saying? You still got the liver exposed, which is probably the worst. Man, that's the worst blow you can take in life. I don't care what nobody say. If you ain't never been hit to, to the liver, a shot to the liver, man, that is, oh my goodness, bro. That, that'll that crumble any man. That'll crumble any man. You know what I'm saying? But on the cool, man, you know, definitely one of those crazy situations that just popped up out the blue out of nowhere, man. Uh, like I said, man, that wasn't a fair shake from Trey's crew. But I do respect the men for actually getting down and putting this out there that way the youngsters can feel like bothered about it like yeah we should still be scrapping we're men you know we're men so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this make sure you like comment and subscribe ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on to all shout out to that man trade the truth and shout out to that man zero and with that being said i'm out oh yeah 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 yeah